Visibility, restore to sight, book. Ah, killer jokes by the trickster. Welcome, leader, and learn the age of that practical jokes. I, trickster, study long and hard from terms of the ancient masses to achieve knowledge and wisdom. May now impart on you the novice. Chapter well one, exploding books. Ha ha. I know what's going to happen now. Yes. I don't know if I can actually reach that one at the back now. No. My fucking mouse is double clicking. Why won't it? Oh, stop it! It's just wasted two scrolls there. Really? I'm going to have to swap to a different mouse at this rate. Whatever. It's taken fucking Logitech over three weeks to reply to me to get it changed under warranty. That's how shit they are. Essentially, nothing is going to be able to be trusted to uh, be moved into a bag or anything because it's just going to fucking double click on it every time. I don't get this. Why won't it let me? There's something really weird going on here. I can't. You can't tell me I have to be stood on top of the fucking thing just to. Can't pick anything up. Can't move anything without. Ridiculous. Try to tell me I'm carrying too much. Nope. 
just it just won't let me pick anything up. Well, this is going to be a very short game, isn't it? What is going on? This is just mega weird. Why can't I put it in my backpack? really confused is there some sort of inventory bug in eight because this is fucking me off there we go official patches i don't know how i find out what version i'm on there is a patch right so I've got the patch because it adds the quick save and quick load which I've just tested there. Right, so we are up to date. Uh, can't get in that box, can't find the key. It just seems to be a massive problem with clicking and dragging, which is going to be a big problem. Just in general. Probably a key under some clothing or something. Ah, this distance targeting thing is getting really annoying. It's like being back in fucking all online. I'm trapped in by the clothes in the book now. I remember this game being annoying, but not to this extent. Right, so we're still looking for the librarian guy, weren't we? He wasn't in the library. Come on through the door, thank you. Right, who's this? Greetings, stranger. I'm called Baron, and you? My name's Slugnar. Right, Slugnar, what do you seek of me? What do you do here? I'm a mage. Okay. Oh, fuck off. And the fire of pyro, sorry. Blah, 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 blah. What brings you here? What do you do? I'm a mage. How are you? I'm fine. Now that you've asked your questions, it's my turn to ask you mine. Why are you here? 
I mean, banished here. Oh, really? Who has banished you here? Big red guy called the Guardian. The Guardian sent you here. You're not banished, but bless. The Guardian will protect you as he's protected us. What do you mean by protected? Yeah. I'm not a historian, so I suggest you sort of Bentic. Very knowledgeable. We'll go to the library and search out the knowledge in the books there. I'm sure Bentic would just love to discuss the past with you. What did you say? Do you think he cares about me? Of course. The Guardian's the provider of all good things. It's here protected us in our time of need. So what I wish to discuss. No. Turn off my footsteps because they just get really annoying. So there's a pentagram there, I'm sure that will be useful later on. Oh, for God's sake. Whole lot of nothing in this place. Is this the library? Blocked. Well, none of you are the person I need to speak to. Aha! Greetings. You're not going to talk to me. Greetings, stranger. What's your name? My name is Bentic. Is the word of pagan derivation? I think it originally meant he who toils hard, but that's not for certain. I found a number of references to Ventac in several older texts and feel this is maybe the root of the name Bentic. What is your name, friend? Slegnar. <laughs> well, it's Slegnar. I'm pleased to meet you. What is pagan? Pagan. That is the name of this place. Thought this place was Tenebrae. No, no, that's the name of this city. Pagan is the name of this land, this all encompassing world in which we live out our meagre lives. I wish to leave Pagan. Leave Pagan? My goodness, I don't think I've ever had anyone ask for that. But then again, you don't act, walk, talk, or dress, walk, yeah, like anyone I've ever seen before. Let's see, I can only suggest you speak to someone with more magic abilities than I. Mithran could help you, although I dread to suggest it. Perhaps the necromancer could help you. What do you do? By trade, I'm a librarian in the sea, however, I prefer to think of myself as a student of life, one who spends his life, his time observing all facets of life. I'm a great studier of people. Be amazed at the things you may learn by simply observing your neighbours in their everyday life. Tell me of the library. The library is my joy, it's where I spend all my time studying the words left by our predecessors. I do not believe what is in these books. I contain the wisdom of many ages in them. Too many people overlook the knowledge of our uh, past generations. Because of this, we are doomed to repeat the same mistakes over and over again. Tell me the people. Ah, you're a student of life as well. I enjoy finding someone who shares the same passions I do. The people in Tenere are varied and fascinating lot. They go about their daily toils, labouring under the yoke of a somewhat restrictive government, and yet still find the time to enjoy themselves occasionally. Tell me your neighbours. I think the one I like to spend most time is Devon. He's such a sharp fellow. I think he has far more potential than even he realises. I met Devon. Have you? Oh, he's such a nice fellow. We spent hours in conversation here. He's really quite sharp. He loves books almost as much as I do. In some ways he knows about Pagan than I. Restrictive government. Hmm, not quite the safe thing to discuss here. In my interest in knowledge and books will not protect me from Lady Maud here. You might say she has a rather short temper. Why, just recently our guards confiscated my personal diary. I don't have any idea why. Tell me of the books. 
The library is full of many books. You're a scholar as well. Oh, I'm so happy to have met you. Please feel free to make use of my library and books. I shall have many interesting discussions, I'm sure. Don't ask potential. Yes, can't put my finger on it. There's something there. Call it a hunch, if you will. Just can't seem to feel that there's... I just seem to feel there's something about him that suggests great things. He does love to read. Maybe he's destined to be a great scholar. Bye. Grim book. Stories to make children sleep by Brother Grim. Such a good book. Ah, there's some stairs over here. I didn't notice them before. Oh, do the zombie. Devenoming the kith. What the fuck is a kith? Was that there? In these pages, blah 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 blah. The forgotten riches of Now. Some say it's an island, while others swear it's deeper than the earth. All agree, though, that the way to Now lies somewhere within the lower catacombs, though the way it was lost due to a great earthquake. Many generations ago, about before the sun circled down over our head, there was a passage that led to this place. Traders flocked to and fro, for this was place of great wealth. Said that great weapon forges of now created many of the magical weapons you have today explaining why we have very few in these times other riches lie in these forms of spells now was known to have a great library in which many of the great spellcasters of the day want to study and record their findings some say that the mage thief vermin and the enchanter varkas studied there in their youth some say it was not an earthquake which shut the passage from the world of now but they were sealed by magic there was rumour that a sect was formed in the library a sect of monks known as the dark brothers it said that these monks wished to keep the secrets and the treasures of now to themselves it's only a rumour many of the old books and the tales handed down from father son mentioned the brothers below is this a reference to the dark brothers it said that this was a magical place lies deep within the heart of the catacombs only there will you find the way to both riches glory and power for you sound of heart and steady soul to find blah, blah, blah. Yeah, well, I'm paranoid of books blowing up now. Your treasured Britannia succumbs easily. Soon, mm. all the land will be mine. Mine. The ship of doom. I already know about the ship of doob. We already know about her. She's lovely. That's the troll book. So this world appears to consist of about four books. It's a fan. Thought it was Peter. <laughs> I punish you to the world of Pizza Hut. No one here has heard of a Domino's Pizza. I've read that. Good book of adventure. I've read that. Ah, here we go. Book about mushrooms. The many forms of vegetation disappeared after our sun ceased its cycling world all set. entered into a state of eternal twilight. Many plants, especially mushrooms, have adjusted to low level of sunlight. Mushrooms have prospered and have become the dominant form of vegetation on the landscape. These range from the man sized monster brown cap all the way to the finger size yellow and red silent sleeper most mushrooms are edible mushrooms like the fist size blue i think it was bugle i could be wrong the green capper delicious with any meal though sometimes they may be confused uh, less experienced with the blue and green form of demon's paw cause rashes blisters and general bladder distress helpful mushroom known for its healing properties is the yellow and green adventurous friend found within the wild when consumed this mushroom tend to restore health as well give the consumer a general feeling of euphoria. Not to keep monsters at bay is the stench mushroom. Applying this small quantity of this mushroom to your skin and guaranteed to wall away most creatures, except for those who are undead, who seem quite attracted to its pungent odour. The only way to smell the mushroom can be removed once supplied is bathing in juice of amato plant. Mushroom you should generally stay away from is the fire mushroom. This little mushroom is usually high in sulfurous ash and tends to explode when stepped on. 
Since none of us have been found, a mushroom that is instantly lethal, it's safe to say if any experience with ones you find in the wild, remember the mushroom is our friend. Saga of Bone Crusher. So it said in the early days of Pagan that the Titan Earth of Earth, Lithos, declared that all who lived upon his land should pay homage to him. His mighty earthquakes, he demanded that people of Tenebrae bow to him unless he shake their houses down around them. Mighty Lithos said, Ooh, sorry. But Mighty Lithos said, Lord Elsmill, the Tempest, we are under the guidance of Hydros. From here we receive the rain from the crops and the fish from our table. We cannot bow to you. This greatly angered Lithos, and to punish the people of Tenebrae, he sent a great army of undead skeletons to slaughter them. Lord Elsmill went to Hydros. Please, he begged, uh, the people of the city are being slain by the minions of your brother Lithos. We must have your help. Hydros heard the plea of a tempest and gave it to him a mighty warhammer. You shall have this weapon called Bone Crusher. With it, defeat the minions of Lithos. When Lord Elsman arrived back at the battle, he was going poorly for the, he was going poorly for the Tenebrains. They were fighting bravely, but were outnumbered two to one by the undead. Lord Elsmill let out a mighty roar, wading into the carnage, wielding the mighty Bone Crusher. The skeletons fell before him like trees. And the tide of the battle was turned. By evening, the last of the Scotlands were being hunted down in the woods. The town Tenebrae was saved. However, Lord Elsmill was missing. Tenebrae's went to look for him. They finally found his crushed body on the battlefield, but the wondrous bone crusher was nowhere to be seen. Looked for it for many days and nights, but did not find it. Well, several of the searchers found the prints of bony feet in the soft dirt by the western forest. It looks as the prints, they said the skeletons were dragging something heavy behind them. Few of the searchers even said they caught a glimpse of bony white in the glint of light of something gold. To this day, intrepid treasure hunters continue to look for the hammer called Bone Crusher. Okay, so I'll be finding that at some point then, will I? And the last Eye of the Boulder. The Runes of Myth Drainer. Gold. Awake in the night in the rooms are all dead, follow my dreams still echoes in my head. The new girl is twitching and sleep on the floor, I move the dark rooms pass through the door. Out of the chill, I follow the walk. The sprites aren't speaking, so there's no need to talk. Spirits aren't speaking. The moon has risen to flower over the world, while tendrils of mist snake out and slowly unfurl. There's a sign by the sea that doesn't make sense, and out past the jetty where its sirens, horny and tense. Briefly, through windows in the pale glass webs, I see lost faces, ruined heroes in watery graves. And the book just closes. I know what comes next, because I've read all my lines. I've been over my part a million times. As the waters roll in and it's followed by the sea, I can hear Mary whisper, calling to me. Come on, baby, from somewhere she cries, I want you to love me like spiders love flies. So, what am I supposed to do? Someone's got a posh house on the river that I can't get into. Beggar. Hello. Do you have any old coins you don't want? Yes. I will give you one. Here you go. Thank you kindly. May Hydros find favour with you. Thanks. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Ow! Jump on you, little bastard. More hidden chests. 
Where did I find that sorcerer guy? Is this him? Baron. Yes, you. What do you do here? I'm a mage. How are you? Goodbye, may the fire power so friend right within you. Well, you don't answer any questions. God, this. The targeting for walking is so unintuitive. Spring of the Eternal Hydros. Come on, can you not get up there? Oh, whoa. Okay, I didn't know you could climb. Well, I'm fucking stuck now. That Rian. Yeah, bye. 